Hello my Taurus friends. This is your X reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> if you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons for me please. My Taurus is as I was shuffling before I turn the camera on. Um, the Fool and the Lovers jumped out here. So I feel like a lot of you guys are wanting to, you know, take a chance on a strong connection that you feel with your ex or they want to take a chance on you all right so let's see what was your relationship like in the past you felt like you guys belong together um you felt very happy very childlike very excited to be around this person and them you um, you guys probably share children together or either you guys have children, N not necessarily together, but there was a lot of family time I feel like that was spent with this person. Probably vacationing, um, going to movies, just doing whatever together I feel like. Very strong relationship, very strong connection between you and your ex. Let's see how you guys view the relationship. I feel like you guys, um, you thought that you could get through whatever was thrown your way. You thought that, you know, you would weather the storm with this person here. Like you had some bumps and bruises or whatever along the way, but you know, it wasn't anything that you felt like you guys could not get through. Let's see how your ex viewed the relationship. It was a struggle for them. Um, I think a lot of times they were trying to shield themselves here. They were trying to like keep themselves from getting hurt. So I don't think they really um, were vulnerable. I don't think they put themselves out there like that because they were really unsure. So I think that they felt this Six of Cups. But at the same time, they were leery. They, um, You maybe even told them that you thought you guys were soulmates and they probably did not believe it or they told you they didn't believe it but I feel like they did but they were fighting this connection um, they were trying to look at it from an intellectual standpoint here okay let's see what your current situation is you're gone it's like you're trying to leave all of this behind you're wanting to just be done with it. I think you're emotionally drained here. You're emotionally drained because I feel like you did everything that you could do to stay together with this person. And it's like, you know, this is not working. I'm out. I, I can't. Let's see what their current situation is. I feel like they're working on their coins. I feel like they are working overtime. They probably have two jobs, okay? I think they're just trying to build up their bank account. Um, if they do have children that you guys are not, um, that you don't have together, or even if you do have children together, I think they're really just trying to take care of business, trying to make sure everybody's okay. If they're paying child support, um, you know, they're just trying to stay focused on you know the mundane things in their life here it's what they're doing currently okay and how do you see your ex what is your perception of them hmm you guys think they're out there just doing things just doing whatever um, you think they they just like attention? They're an attention whore is what I'm getting here. Um, but you also see them as somebody that's attractive, I feel. You feel like they're dating. You feel like they use their money also to lure people in. 
I'm getting for some of you. Some of you feel like um, they probably walked away just so they could see other people. And let's see how your ex feels about you or sees you as being closed off, being unemotional, unaffectionate, um, also holding on to your coins. You know, they feel like, um, <laughs> they feel like you guys are kind of stingy. They feel like, you know, not only um, are you selfish with your time, but you're selfish with your money as well. Maybe you, you don't open up about how much you actually have or something like that. They see you as gloating about, not necessarily like vocally gloating about how much money you have, but like feeling... Um, you know, like your ego is huge because you feel like you can do whatever it is that you want to do is what I'm getting. Let's see how you feel about getting back together. You're really not sure is what I'm getting. You're not sure about this person. This person you feel is not truthful, that there were a lot of secrets in this relationship, um, a lot of things that you don't know, a lot of things that they hid. They probably, you know, you didn't know how much money they made. You didn't know where they were going. You didn't know what they were doing. Um, you don't trust this person, I feel. I don't feel you trust them. And you're kind of ignoring like this whole situation. You don't want anything to do with it right now. Okay. Oh, how they feel about getting back together. This card just jumped out. They want to offer you something. I feel like this person wants to offer you an apology. Hmm. I feel like somebody wants to offer an apology here hmm yeah but they're too busy focused on like you know material things I feel they're all about all about the money all about you know, showing off all about, you know, what their money can do for them. They may not even be rich, but, um, but their show off, I feel like this person. Okay. Let's see what you can do to move this along. Hmm. Realize that there is still love between the two of you. Realize there is still, at the end of the day, there's still love between the two of you that this can be worked out. Maybe offer your love to someone. Or if it's, um, hmm, yeah, Th that's what I get. <laughs> Regardless if they are, you know, somebody that is very materialistic, um, does not show a lot of emotion. You know, I'm getting that you show them love regardless. You show them unconditional love regardless because you help them. Now, I have to tell you because I see it. Now, you see that you have the Eight of Cups right here, right? Now, we have the Eight back to the two of cups this is a strong 
indication of you guys possibly going back or considering this connection again because if the Ten of Cups was here, I would feel like you guys are going on, moving on, you know, with someone else, something else to get your total fulfillment. But this is like going back or reconsidering, reconnecting here with the Two of Cups. So I feel like this is showing unconditional love to this person without letting them just completely tear you down, though. Because you have to look out for yourself first and foremost. Okay. Let's see what they can do to move this along. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Speak what's on their mind. Speak what's on their heart. If they love you, they need to tell you that. If they need to apologize, they need to do that as well. All right. Let's see what, if this was the best possible outcome or the potential outcome. What is a potential outcome? For my Taurus friends. Hmm. I don't feel like either one of you will budge. Not between the 10th and the 16th anyway. Somebody's being very stubborn here. Okay. Also, there's somebody here that feels like they've done enough. That, that um, the other person needs to come towards them. Okay. So only you guys know how your situation really ended and um, who needs to come towards you, who, okay? Let's see. Let's pull a Romance Angels card to close out your reading, my Taurus friends. Flirt. Hmm. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Hmm. I like this because this is a potential outcome. But this is actually what would help this situation, honestly and truly, is for somebody to reach out and not even talk about what has happened in the past, but just, you know, a initially not talk about what happened in the past because there is a need to be honest here, okay, about something. But initially, once you reach out or they reach out, um, let's, let's just have some lighthearted conversation to kind of break the ice here, okay? So, my Tauruses, that's what I have for you guys for the 10th through the 16th, and I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.